time for the bell How many options will you sell? Fire up your platform, get ready to enter But first, let's get the mindset centered Hey, hey, let's go uh, We're not here to gamble, we're here to trade We follow the plan, that's how we get paid Testing, trading, have success Find what works for you and forget the rest Stats and probabilities is what we're about Time to dismiss greed and doubt Focus on the process, not the money And the profits will flow like honey Power our live, let's start the show Come on trade hackers, get ready to go Zero day options, time to make bank Get locked and loaded, then be ready to plank Hey. What's up everyone? Happy power hour time Thursday, October 12th. Hope everybody is surviving the flush. Quite a flush. I was uh, I was looking on financial juice. I didn't see anything. Was there a trigger here? I've been kind of tied up getting some things done, so I didn't see uh, any news headlines. But we don't know. We don't always need a news headline for something to happen. Bond market auction. Was that it? s and is currently down 34, NASDAQ down 88, Russell down 42. Wow, Russell down 2.37%. Uh, Dow down 230. Gold and silver slightly red. Notes and bonds are red. 10-year yield back up above 4.7. Oil bounced back a little bit near unchanged. Natty gas down 1%. Grains are higher. Uh, Bitcoin pretty flat. VIX is up six and a half percent. It was up, uh, I think I saw it was up like 11 and a half percent at one point. Bond auction did not go well. All right. So looking at I think we should be getting the 10 wide. Are we good, right? Yeah, it should be 10 wide. For tranche numero uno. Did a Rick this morning. That one hit. Still got a runner. The runner didn't want this bounce, but uh, let's see where that one's at. All right, trying to creep back up in the valley with my Rick Runner. But for power hour, I need to buy some longs. One to one for me. I do one to one on all tranches. I had talked about right and I did a couple days with a three to two, but no, I'm I'm uh I'm back on the one to one train for power hour. Give it a couple minutes. It looks like the forty fives and the thirty fives right now. So current move from the open is the SPX is down 0.87%. I did take a, uh, I also took a morning um, discretionary iron condor. It's kind of an AM, AM ratio. Uh, I didn't, I wasn't holding it for the full 80%. So I got out at like 20% and 40%. So that was nice. Got a, Nice little discretionary winner this morning. I really when when and I I got in when price pushed down. I really man, I thought we were, I thought it was a no brainer that we were going to forty four hundred today, but then things kind of fell apart. All right, looks like we may be five wide, ladies and gentlemen. Forty five forties.
Could be 35. Let's see. We can give it another 30 seconds. Yeah, it looks like the uh, 45 40s. 45 40s, trying to get 930. Build at 925, 45-40s. Uh, Murph Dog, besides a ratio, how else could you play with the strikes? Delta is order to make a short iron condor more bearish or bullish. Yeah, you could just skew it. You know, just use, you know, if you're going bullish, just use... Higher deltas on the calls, lower deltas on the puts. If you want to go bearish, use higher deltas on the puts, lower deltas on the calls. Yeah, towards the end of the day, you're going to be getting into some pretty low premiums the further out you go. Yeah, if you want to go bearish, you're going to go higher delta calls, lower delta puts. That's just going to, you know, it's going to give you more, more room to the downside. Less room to the upside. All right, so checking out some of our other positions, uh, took off our CL Hedgy, CL Hedgehog for small profit. That one was, uh, boy, that one came back. That was, that thing was down a, a bunch. Came back and booked a small profit on it. The vertical was getting near 80%. So needed to close that one out to manage risk. Um, added a new time fly. in the NOV3 cycle. So we have three of those on. Two have been adjusted, and then the one we just put on today. We've got a rut duck that is right in the middle of the duck head, expires tomorrow. So price can hold its head up above 17. Might have a shot at a duck head here. Made an adjustment to our NDX calendar by adding an upside one, thinking we were going higher. We did not. We came down. Still up a couple hundred on that one. Had I not made that adjustment, we'd be booking profits, I think, or we would have over, over 10%, maybe 20%. But still in good, still got some decent range on that one. All right, so I got into tranche one at nine twenty five. For 555 to reduce my stop. TR1555.
God, I had my had my bone broth simmering on the stove. Got to get my power hour bone broth. Tea. I've never been a tea guy. Hopefully you guys can't hear that construction work going on in the background. SPX trying to give a little bounce. Uh, Krish, maybe um, Bulletproof Coffee? Or I was on a little mud water kick there for a while. It's kind of a coffee alternative. It's got some mix of different kinds of mushrooms in it. Mud water. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't been drinking the old mud water. I still have some. I just kind of got tired of it. So we are, uh, we're hanging around basically at yesterday's lows. Sliced through the expected move to the downside. Trying to make our way back up. So did anybody, I saw at least Dick or some of you took some uh, DKSs. Did you guys take any other zero DTE today besides Rick? Nice, nice. Nice, Tevis. For those interested in learning more about Tradier, we're doing the uh, little Tradier webinar overview after the market closes today, 30 minutes after the market closes. repost that in the uh, trader chat channel. Just posted it in the trader chat channel.
quite a little bounce after the market was in free fall all the way from 43.25 to so a 20 point bounce, 21 point bounce. Ten minutes until trotch two. Trotch one trading down to seven sixty, seven fifty. Nice, Elliot. Caught that falling knife, huh? VIX got down into the 15 handle, 15, let's see the low today, 15.44, back up above 18 at one point at the lows. Another two bucks to come out of tranche one to reduce the stop. SPX still trying to bounce. Or the market may push down from here. Those are the two options. <laughs> no, I don't think it'll stay. I mean, it'll move around. Yeah, that's what they, uh, that's why I'm running the show, Chris, is because of my insights. The market will either go up or down.
Right, detective. Good name, too, by the way, for that comment. Brilliant, detective. I believe you are correct. I think it will do a little up and a little down, if I had to guess. Bronx one down to 720. A few minutes until tranche two. Get myself some more longs. So for tranche two, looks like we possibly could be 10 wide, but might be five wide. Right now, it looks like the 50-40s. Oh, now the 50-45s. I'm going to go with the 50 45s. 640. Filled at 640. 50 calls, 45 puts. Had a little bounce right into that entry time.
Thursdays, I never have any calendars to put on in power hour. I never have anything else to do except for watch the price. So if you're new here, if you have any questions, feel free to jump in. Got a lot of time in between entries, answer questions, fill in some gaps. Tranche one is down to 7.30. I'm looking for 5.55. Tranche two, I got in at 6.40. So I'm looking for Uh-oh, Wooga. Are you going to be, like, twitching on the plane? <laughs> Got a layover in KC? Or plane switch? Maryland, I assume, right? Well, we just got a brand new airport in KC, so... Should be, you should like it. The old one, you didn't want a layover in Kansas City with the old airport. There was absolutely nothing, but we're big boys now. We got a big boy airport. Actually have shops and restaurants and all kinds of stuff, like a normal airport. La Souza ETH. Did I say that right? La Souza ETH. Yeah, so what I do is I La Souza. All right, cool. Uh yeah, so what I do is I, I always buy the longs up front. So I have the longs in place, and then when I actually enter my order, I'm just selling the shorts. And the reason I do that is because it's easier with, I don't know, a broker you use. If you use Toss, you, you can use these order templates to make it easier. So it automatically sets up my stop loss and my and my limit orders um, at the same time as I enter. Because once I, once I get in, I'm only focused on the shorts. Those longs are most likely just going to expire worthless. They're just there for black swan protection as well as buying power reduction what what broker do you use lasoza a uh, naked strangler i would not ditch a strategy after a few weeks no sir What I would do is I would go through the trade logs of the strategy that you're trading and get a really good feel for when there's been periods of drawdowns or, you know, multiple losses in a row and just, just understand how that strategy works. I mean, if you're trading off the back test, then you, you need to understand that there are going to be drawdowns and It'll help you kind of determine what you would do in that case. I like to go through the trade logs and really like feel those, feel those trades, especially the losses and try to think through how I would, how I would react if I was really trading and that happened. I've found that pretty helpful. Okay. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not, uh, I'm not too familiar with functionality of Saxo. But I would say they're not a great options trading platform, if I had to guess. Yeah. 
All right, got a little bounce away from tranche one. So tranche one's trading back up to about 785. Tranche two's at 560. So then we're close to reducing any stops yet. A few minutes until tranche three. So La Souza, you'll see what I'm, so we got a few minutes until tranche three. So what I'll do is I will buy my longs. And I just like to buy the, on the put side, I'll buy the five cent. On the call side, I'll buy the 10 cent. Just some cheap wings. Number of contracts I'm going to do. And then I just put those in and get those filled a few minutes before I, before it's time to actually enter. So now all I have to do is sell the shorts. I bought the five cent calls and the 10 cent puts. I don't know if I, maybe I said that wrong. So if we entered right now, it looks like it'd be the 5545s. Give it another couple minutes. So then when I get ready to order, let's say I'm I'm doing the 5545s, I would and toss, I can right click, sell custom. I already have these templates already built out. So I would go to tranche three, uh 10 wide with 14 contracts, which is what I'm doing. And so then when I click on that, it sets up the order. So it sets up the entry, the stop, and the, and I have my limit orders at 90% 90, 90 below where I get in. And that way it just gives me an, a limit order that's already in place. So when I, uh, towards the end of the day, when I go to close it, I can just adjust that to get filled. Well, nice of you to ask, Naked Strangler. I have a resource just for you. Let me grab it. It's a lesson in the course called Setting Up Order Templates in Thinkorswim. You can go there right here via that link. All right, one minute. Looks like the 5545s. Tranche three, 10 wide, 14. Fifty-five forty-fives. We get 315. Build at 320 on the 5545s. All right, so there's my profit hump. 4345 is the sweet spot. A little pullback here. Tranche one is down to 630. I need 555. Tranche two is at 530. I need 385 to reduce my stop.
575. Five eighty five. I need to see five fifty five. Mm. That bone broth, that's good stuff, boys and girls. Packed with protein. It's good for the soul. 555. There it is. All right, reducing my stop on Tron 1. Uh, they don't come out yet. The first one comes out in about uh, three minutes tomorrow. It'll just be in the main feed there. I reduced it to 855 because I reduced it to three from four to three. Yeah, they just pop up in the main feed there. It'll be at the top. So the first three are just preliminary, just kind of preliminary indications. And then the one at 10 minutes until the bell is the final one. That's what the firms are committed to. I'll just pop up on top here. So <clears throat> here in two minutes. So at 30 minutes until the bell, you'll get the first one. 385 is my tranche two profit target, correct? It's currently at five, a little over five bucks. Yeah, usually when there's something really going on, it, it, it'll highlight these in red. So, for example, if, like this was, uh, yes, no, this is earlier today, crude oil inventories. If there's something important, that's why I was kind of scanning through it. Didn't It didn't really highlight anything about the bond auction. I did see it, but I just, I thought, well, maybe that's it. But then, yeah, here it was at, at noon central. I was planning on either doing a TGIF or I just decided to adjust the NDX trade instead. And of course, with VIX popping now, I'm not going to do it. That was when that was when we were up here before noon. So Dick K, do you peel off a third of your tranche one? All right, so it's 30 minutes till the bell, so we'll get our first market on close imbalance number. I'm on a 30-second delay because I have the free version here. but So here in about five seconds, it should pop up. And... There it is. 71 million buy side. So pretty much a nothing number. Did you intend to, Dick? You just forgot? All 
I like that version. I'm going to, I'll be switching over to that um, next month. Tranche two, I've got the 4550s. It's currently trading at 450. I need 385. A little bounce here. Hovering right under the expected move line where we started the day. And stopped out of tranche one after my stop reduction. So got in at 925, stopped out at 855. So 70 point win. Stopped out for a profit. Mr. SPX just to calm down and settle back in. Tranche two is trading at 570, stops at 940. Tranche three spread is at 310, stops at 620. So got a little room, but just need to settle in. Forty cent positive slippage. That's nice. Naughty dog power hour question. I see most of the back test examples show at 355. I just wonder if that is what people are doing in real life. Are they just getting letting them expire and settle the cash? So what I do, what I've decided to do, and you you can listen to my uh September trade plan in the trade plans channel. But I just talk about if I so let's just look at uh well, I'm using the same strike, so this is going to look a little goofy, but let's say I'm in this trade and price is, you know, fairly well inside of my short strikes or, you know, somewhere close, not, you know, not way out here. Then what I'll do on a discretionary basis is I might consider taking it to the bell and just letting them expire. Um, They're probably for about, I mean, let's see, probably June, July, August, for a good three or four months, I was diligently just taking everything off at five minutes till the bell. So if you look at the back test, you'll notice that that letting them expire tests better. So it's just a matter of, you know, do you wanna do you wanna take that risk in the last few minutes to get those last few cents out of the trades? I won't. If it's a if I if it, if it's a straddle, I won't uh, I won't let it expire. I'll take it off before the bell. But if it's um, but if it's a strangle and it looks like it's in decent shape, then I'll consider giving it giving it a shot to go to the bell. The other thing you got to keep in mind is when you get close to the end of the day, you're, you know, you may have a situation where you're, if, if price is kind of out of center, then you may have a situation where you're getting down to a point where you're, where your shorts have no bid, which means your stop is most likely not going to trigger. 
So you're kind of, you're playing with that risk as well. But you can't argue with the fact that it does, I mean, it tests better to, to just hold to expiration. But I, d I don't like the idea of holding a straddle. I mean, you can get out with a few minutes until the bell at, if you're pretty well centered at a, a decent price, you're, you know, the chance of pinning is so low that to me, I don't think it's worth it, but a strangle strangles a little more fun, but I've, you know, it's worked both ways. I've, I've gotten smoked trying to do that where I would have been better off taking it off and I've done better leaving it. So it's just, uh, just something you got to decide if it's for you or not. Uh, just 4 p.m. Eastern for expiration day. So if, if it's a SPX options that's not on expiration day, yeah, you can trade them 15 minutes after. But you'll get, um, you know, the settlement price, it will be, sometimes it takes a couple minutes after. 4 p.m. Because they, they got to wait for all 500 companies to close. And sometimes there's a few stragglers. So sometimes you'll see it tick around, you know, by a few ticks here and there. But you'll know the you'll know the the the, the end price within a couple minutes after the bell. Tronch two's at 480. I need 385. So I need a little pullback. Back between 45 and 50, we would get to a point to be able to reduce the stop on tranche two. Tranche three is trading down to 260. Time flies with the adjustments like that little down move. Now we're kind of right back where we started the day as far as PL. And SPX is trying to push. Trying to push us around. Tranche two is trading at 660, stops at 940. Tranche three is trading at 350, stops at 620. Forty forty three forty five to forty three fifty is ideal. About a five point pullback or so. Second indication for the market on close and balance, same 71 million buy side. By the way, if you're hearing me talk about this, this is just something I started watching. I don't really put too much weight in it. 
but uh, <clears throat> essentially the all the big boys like BlackRock, State Street, Vanguard, they have to report their net inflows or outflows. They have to give their final number by the end by 10 minutes until the bell. Anything over a few billion starts to that's kind of gets into big, you know, market moving type numbers. Anything under a couple billion is really nothing. So it's 71 million to the buy side right now. Sometimes you'll see some early indication numbers and then all of a sudden the final one will come out and it'll be completely different. And a lot of times that's when you'll see some movement in the last 10 minutes. Yeah, so the first one is at 30, the second one's at 40, then we get one at 45, and then the final one's at 50. So we'll get another one here in a few minutes. Usually you see the first three, which mean nothing. First three are the same. And then the final one can kind of change. I asked for below 50. It hasn't given me that yet, Elliot. Please, Mr. SPX, can you just hover below 4350? See, I don't know, kind of, to me, it's a little early to be asking. You know, we still have 17 minutes to go. I like to wait until, I like to save my asks until the last few minutes. Yes. I'm going to come down to 4350. Charge two down to, th oh, we're getting there. I'm looking for 385. Chiefs Broncos tonight, PT. That's right. Three ninety four dollars. Did anyone see three eighty five? I'm on the forty three forty fives, forty three fifties. Get three seventy five. All right, Landon, I believe you. If Chris said that, no, I wouldn't. I'd I would just hold off. But I believe Landon. All right, so we reduced our stop on tranche one and got stopped for profit. Reduced our stop on tranche two. 
So let's see, on tranche two, got in at 640, stops at 585, so it should be out for a profit even if we get stopped on tranche two. So that's always good. But I think we're gonna I think we're gonna take this home. So the third market on closing balance, same thing, 71 million buy side. So then the next one that comes out here in about four minutes, that'll be the final. I mean, that was a relentless drop, wasn't it? I mean, that thing just no bounces. Try to get a tiny bounce there at 1245 and I guess the, uh, the market just repriced itself. Well, overreacted like it always does. And then uh, repriced based on the bond auction, whatever that was about. All right. I like the positioning. I like where we're at here. So the final market on close and balance will come out in 10 seconds. I won't see it for 30 seconds later, but we'll see what see if the market moves at all. And we'll bounce up to 52. Yeah, we're getting a little push. 220 million sell side. So it flipped market balanced. I got stopped on tranche two, I assume. Yeah. So stopped out of tranche two at 615, 615 and 610. Got in at 640. So stopped for a small win. 
So it's up to tranche two. So going back to uh, Naughty Dog, your question. So, you know, we're kind of on the line here. I mean, we're, I'm getting close to the upper strike, which is 43.55. But this is one, I mean, it's 10 wide. So this is one I'm going to consider taking it to the bell, especially if we get a little bit of a pullback here in the next few minutes. I got into tranche three at 320. It's currently trading at a buck 60. We can stay under 43.55. I'll take this one to the bell. Oh, I like that little drop. Right back to the 50s. Six minutes to go. All we got to do is stay between 45 and 55 into the bell, my friends. Who's who's with me? I need to know who I'm riding with here today. Morrow's out. Good win. Nice. PT's in. Ken's in. Murph Dog's in. Lando's in. Decay's on the 50s. Leo. All right. I got a good team here. Good team. Five minutes to go. So the question is, so these are trading at 75 cents. I'm going to move my limit order down to 10 cents. So the question is, you know, is it, is holding for those last, you know, that last 70 cents, is that worth the risk? I don't know. 
I kind of go back and forth, you know, over many occurrences, over many, over many occurrences, the back says, the back test says it is, but you're playing with a little bit of fire. And it's fun. And let's check the old heart rate. Measuring, measuring. 71. Three minutes to go. Well, that would take the fun out of it, Mirage. I mean, I'm risking 30 cents to lose $6.20. <laughs> that's, that's where the fire comes from, baby. No, I, sh I should really reduce stop. That's on my list. I'm going to I'm going to tweak a few things here for next month, but I'm just going to just going to ride with the back test. Dave out at 30 cents, nice. Down to 30 cents, yep, yeah, below 30 cents. It's actually been picking up my 10 cent orders. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. So I made 700 bucks on tranche one, $400 on tranche two on those stop outs. If I get this, it'd be 4480 or 4470. So if we pin here, it'd be about 5,500 total. Less than a minute. Don't do anything stupid. Just shut it down. Go to sleep. It's trading at 10 cents. My limit order is at 10 cents. Fifteen seconds. Oh, I got hit on my ten cents. All right, I'm out. All right, so a little about fifty five hundred plus or minus minus the longs that I bought. So all three profitable. Can't uh, can't complain about that on a Thursday, my friends. I love Thursdays. Thursday is my new favorite day of the week. Oh, nice, Elliot. Didn't reduce your stop. Ended up with uh, lots of pins. Nice. All right. Good stuff. Good, good, good stuff. Uh, so tomorrow I'll be back in action in the morning. So we'll be streaming live for Zero DTE tomorrow morning as well as Power Hour. All right, my friends, good stuff. Have a good night. Talk to you soon.